Good morning and welcome to the WEX Wake Up. I'm Christy Matino. In your political news this morning, the White House is brushing off calls for military response to cartel violence after four Americans were kidnapped by gunmen while crossing the border on Monday. Two of the four were found dead. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre defended the Biden administration's handling of the border, telling reporters that U.S. officials are coordinating with Mexico. When it comes to their, the safety of Americans, the president's always going to make sure that that is a top priority. Would President Biden ever consider using the U.S. military to disrupt cartel operations? I'm, I'm just not going to get into uh, the military and how it's being used. John Pierre said border authorities seized historic amounts of fentanyl as a result of the president's security crackdown, although the drug has been killing Americans in record numbers this year. And in Money Matters, a big interest rate hike could be on the horizon. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said the odds are increasing. During his semi-annual congressional testimony on Tuesday, Powell told the Senate Banking Committee the economy has remained more resilient than expected amid higher rates, hinting that they may rise even more than anticipated this year. Although inflation has been moderating in recent months, the process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go <clears throat> and is likely to be bumpy. As I mentioned, the latest economic data have come in stronger than expected, which suggests that the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be, to be higher than previously anticipated. If the totality of the data were to indicate <clears throat> that faster tightening is warranted, we'd be prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. The economy added 517,000 jobs in January. That exceeded expectations. And the unemployment rate is now at 3.4%. That's the lowest it's been since 1969. But when it comes to inflation, recent reports show that price increases are not slowing as effectively as the central bank has wanted. As Powell broke the news, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped by 260 points and the S&P 500 declined by more than 0.9%. And a bill to ban TikTok. Bipartisan lawmakers are partnering with the White House to ban the social media app. The legislation aims to prohibit the use of TikTok due to its affiliation with China. Senators Mark Warner and John Thune, both on different sides of the aisle, released legislation on Tuesday that would empower the White House to use additional powers to restrict the app. The bill is the latest of several efforts by Congress due to fears about its data collection practices. The bill is called the Restricting the Emergence of Security Threats that Risk Information and Communications Technology, or RESTRICT for short, and it would provide a more comprehensive approach for handling the company and limit transactions involving technology where a foreign enemy has invested interest. Congress has already passed a ban on installing TikTok on government devices. And that's the news on the WEX Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all the headlines trending in politics.